Hey everyone, I'm Jorge Vergara and I am the developer behind Havebrat. Uh, today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about getting started with hybrid development. Uh, a few people have emailed me asking about issues they've been having bu while building their Ionic apps and I've noticed that I was having those same issues but that they didn't really have to do or they didn't really have anything to do with Ionic. Like mostly they were because when I jumped into Ionic, I didn't really know anything about Angular or about JavaScript in general. Like I knew a little bit of HTML, CSS and JavaScript, but not enough. Like I was coming from a backend background, working with Python and PHP and things like that. So today I want to show you like what I did to get those knowledge gaps closed. And the first thing I did was to start learning more JavaScript. For that, I went through Westbow's course, like ES6 for Everyone. It's one of the best courses out there. It teaches you clean JS, how to use modern tooling. I learned a lot of array methods that I didn't know about. Like I finally learned how to use filter, reduce, map, and they saved me a lot of time. Like there were methods I had in my apps that I could reduce through just two lines of code using map. I also learned a lot about async await. And the really cool thing is that Wes keeps his courses up to date. Like you can see in the banner right here, he updated it to ES7, then to ES8, and includes a lot of new stuff. And since I bought the course a while back, I get all those updates for free. If you can't make the money commitment right now and want to get it started and see how he teaches, he also has a free course called JavaScript 30. This is basically a daily challenge type of thing where you get a challenge each day to learn more about JavaScript. He has a philosophy of learn by doing. So are very practical challenges. Uh, there's no, no theory involved. After I was a little bit more confident with my JS, I decided to learn a lot more about Angular. So I went through Ultimate Angular by Todd Moro. Todd is a GDE for Angular. See, the platform has changed a bit, but I took the Angular Fundamentals course that really helped me like uh, learn a lot about how to use components, how to communicate components with each other. I didn't really know about the inputs and outputs and things like that. And then I took the Angular Pro to learn more about directives, how to properly use services, and uh, overall learn more about Angular. And for Ionic specifically, I went through building mobile apps with Ionic and Angular from Joshua Moroni. Like, if you are in this space, you probably know about Josh. He publishes a lot of tutorials each week. And his book is one of the best resources to get started with Ionic. Like, he assumes no knowledge from you. And he teaches you everything you need to get started. And it's a really good and entertaining book. Uh, that's it. Uh, let me know in the comments what your process has been like. Uh, if you are find, having trouble right now with Ionic or with any part of the stack, then I'll try to do my best to, to help you out. Uh, I'm going to be leaving these links to the courses in the description. So let me know how you feel about them.